Okay, doke. So we're back here in Blender and we opened up our dev kit. So we're gonna go and select one of these empty layers. I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. It's an empty one. And I'm sorry, this dev kit is so messy. I should have cleaned it up before I released it. Anyway, um, we're gonna import our hang on one second, one second. Sorry about that. Um, so what we need to do is we need to import our garments that we made in Marvel's Designer. So go to where you saved it and we're gonna do file import uh, obj and you're going to look for the file, the file baby clothes because that's what I called it so wherever you saved it last and we're just going to bring those in so you see we have our clothes our t-shirt and our pair of pants now I'm going to rig these all as one but if you wanted to you could separate them so what you would do is you would press uh, tab and um, you would see how dense this is <laughs> I can hear haters yelling right now. So you can see how this is. And you would press the P key. And then you would say by material. And because we gave them separate materials in Blender. I mean in Marvel Designer. It's easy for them to come apart here in you know, Blender. But I want to rig this as one. Because I think that's a lot easier. So t-shirts and pants are always easier to do as one. And then you can separate them later, or later if you want. Okay, so we have our t-shirt and our pants, and we're going to hold down shift, and we're going to select the first layer, because I think that's the one with the body's on. And you see, it snaps right onto our baby, just like it did in Marvelous Designer. So now it's time to rig this to the skeleton. So what we need to do is um, hold down shift and select the bone layer, which is right underneath the body layer, so down here. Um, you're going to click on your garment, and you're going to hold down shift. And I'm going to rotate the baby to the side just the way I can see uh, the bones a little easier. So I'm going to click on the garment, hold down shift, select the bones. You can pick on any bone as long as there's a bone that's sticking out. <laughs> I'm going to go back into object mode because sometimes it snips into pose mode. So one more time from the top. So we're going to click on the garment. We're going to hold down shift. We're going to click on the bones. And we're going to press control P. And it's going to ask you set parent to what? And you're just going to go all the way down to where it says automatic weights. Okay. So now um, what we want to do is test and see if the rig actually, uh, if the clothes snap to the rig. So I'm going to click on the bones again. And I'm going to switch it from object mode to pose mode. Then we're going to click on one of the bones. And it should be blue or so like this. And when they are selected, you're going to press R and you're going to move the arm and you're going to see if it moves. Now, if you are happy with the way it is moving and if it's moving like this, you really shouldn't be. Then we need to go on to our next process and that is transferring weights from the body to our clothes. And that goes into weight painting. Sorry, it is. What is this? laundry day <laughs> okay so what i need to do is transfer weights to our uh from our body to our clothes and that gives us a closer uh, a better rigging scenario so let's go about that so what you need to do first is click on the baby always click on the good rig thing first like the body or the template or something like that click on that first then hold down shift and click on your garment and then you're going to go over here where it says object mode and you're going to switch from object mode to weight paint mode and then we're going to go to the panel the tool panel and we're going to select tools and scroll down until you see transfer weights now when you transfer weights this only looks like this in blender uh 2.72 and under they changed it in 2.73 and up and that's why i don't like it because it's not as accurate or as good or as simple so I always suggest people who are new to uh, weight painting and things like that to use blender 2.72 because the weight transfer is so much user friendly so um, when you press transfer weights you should see it say group and you want to make sure it says all nearest face and all pretty much what it says by default and once you have that done, it will automatically transfer weights from the body to your garment. So now when we go to click on it, you see it's moving a lot better. Now, the baby's still moving a little weird. And we need to 
actually run that script I told you about the remove unused vertex groups because this is a bento body it's transferring bones from like ben the bento skeleton weights and stuff are still holding some weight here even though there are none inside the body aside from the hands so what I want to do is go over here to where it says vertex group and you will find this in this like little panel here the data panel it looks like a downwards pointing triangle it's between the wrench and a little uh, material sphere so you're going to click that and then you're going to scroll down until you see vertex groups and if you installed the script correctly you will go to the third button so you'll see a uh, plus sign, a minus sign, and then there's a little downward menu button, like a downward triangle, that's the vertex menu. So you're going to click that, and you're going to select from that menu, uh, remove unused vertex groups. Now we're going to scroll through this list real quick, and we're going to see if there are any extra bento bones that didn't get removed. And there are quite a few. You see where it says M spine 2, M spine 1, we're going to remove that. Where it says M spine 2, we're going to remove that as well. In spine three, uh, in spine four, um, face teeth lower. Um, we don't need any wings at all. So wing one, wing root, wing two, uh, groin. What the hell, groin up there? I'm even groin tail. <laughs> um, M hind limbs root. So we just have a basic rig here. Alright, so now let's click on the body again and we move it and you see that is a lot better than what was happening there. That's usually the case when you're working on bento stuff um, in Avastar 1. You just gotta remove the bento things that may be gunking it up. So that's the fast way to do the rigging. Now, we can export it if we want and test it out and see how, if it works in second line. So let's right click on our rigging and stuff. And um, so click on the garment, you go file, export, um, cloud of Avastar. Sorry, I'm a little slow today. So because it was just closed that we're exporting, we need to um, come down here before we export to the exportation tab. And we're going to check this box right here that says apply amateur scale. That's because the avatar is so small and it has a custom skeleton, we're going to need it to snap to that skeleton and that scale. So we're going to make sure that this box right here is checked that says apply armature scale. Very important that. Um, so I'm going to go back to my desktop and I'm just going to hit export and we're going to wait for it to save. Now I didn't really, I kind of glossed over uh, weight painting, I didn't talk about it at all, but I made a whole other video called in our Back to Basics class that talks about weight painting and depth, so if you want to learn how to weight paint uh, besides just transferring weights into stuff, you may want to check out that video because I did a better job explaining it than I did here, you know, not at all, sorry. Alright, so we have our clothes exported, we're going to jump over into Second Life real quick, I'm going to take off this and we're going to put on our clothes so i'm going to go to file upload mesh model and uh, select that hopefully that's the right one yeah that's our clothes and before we upload it i'm going to turn lowest to zero and low to zero and we're going to go to upload options and check this box that says include skin weight we don't need to check the include joint positions because the avatar already has that checked so um, and so we don't need to do that so just hit calculate weights and fees and it's gonna cost us 11 L to upload it and we just hit upload and press add and you see there she goes she has her clothes and so on so forth and because they're on different materials uh, we can just select the face and you can change that to that color and the pants to whatever color you want them to be. So that's it for pretty much making clothes and rigging them and importing them in. Now I bet you're wondering like why did we have to change the low and lowest to zero? That's kind of like a little trick in Second Life that reduces it. Um, 
cost. So let's go back to our upload real quick and I'll show you what happened if you don't check that box. So when you're uploading Mesh, this is basically asking you how is this going to be viewed when you um, are on the high setting, the medium setting, the low setting, and the lowest setting of Second Life. Since nobody really views their Mesh on low and lowest, it's kind of a waste to have it be rendered at all um, on that. And if we left the as they are without changing anything and we just go to calculate weights and fees one it takes a little bit longer and two it costs more and has a heavier landing pet because it's creating these now you could go through the whole process of creating your own LODs and making them efficient and stuff like that or you could just use second life LOD generator and then do that and it saves you both time and money that's just my opinion because I've been on second life for like 10 years and I rarely rarely see anybody use low and lowest just medium and high is what everybody uses so um yeah, that's a little tip and trick. So now we have our clothes imported into Second Life, but we can't have them looking like this. We got to texture these things, yeah? So I'm going to show you in the next video how to texture your clothes and make custom graphic t-shirts, um, make a shadow map so you can just you sell them off as templates. <laughs> or, um, yeah, pretty much it. Let's make some, let's texture these clothes. So I'll see you guys in the next video and we'll, going to texture.